Welcome to a new video from Elastic Course. In this video, I will show you how to update GNS3 to a newer version. And if you are not familiar with GNS3, this is a free network simulator that can run on Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. And it helps you emulate and virtualize network devices like Cisco routers, Cisco switches, security devices like FortiGate, Palo Alto, or Checkpoint Firewall and also can help you learn networking from scratch without having to buy any device. It's amazing software and it's highly recommended. But before we get started, if you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe to get more videos. Let's get started. In this case, I have GNS3 client already loaded in here. I wanna show you which version I'm running right now. And we are running version 2.2.5. Our goal is to update this version to the newer version which is 2.2.8 and also maintain our security devices and other profiles that we already created. We do not wanna break these devices. We wanna keep them running in a newer version. So I wanna show you the proper way to update so that you don't break these devices. Let's start by checking the GitHub page for GNS3. So we can see the change log. In the change log we see here that the version 2.2.5 was released back in January. And the already released version 2.2.6, we see a few improvements and a few bug fixes. And also they have another version in here. And finally, they have version 2.2.8, which is new, has been released 12 days ago. The first piece that we need to update is the GUI, which is the GNS3 client that we are running on the operating system. In this case, this would be my GNS3 client. And the second piece would be to update the back end server which is running in VMware Workstation or Hyper-V or whatever hypervisor you are using. In this case, I'm using VMware and I'm using GNS3 version 2.2.5 as the client and the server has to be on the same version. So start by downloading the exe file for the client. This will be our first piece. I already downloaded this. And then we're just gonna run the new exe file for the update. This setup will update the client to the required version 2.2.8 we can go ahead and update all the internal components. Once this is done, just uncheck the start GNS3 part because the server is not ready yet to support the newer version and we don't wanna create any conflict. So let's just uncheck this and finish. And now let's go back to our VMware. We can update the server first and then we are able to run the system after. So we'll just turn on the machine manually in this case because the GNS3 client is not loaded. And from here, we're just gonna jump inside the GNS3 version machine and we're gonna click enter so we can go into the menu. And we wanna choose the upgrade GNS3 VM so that we can get the newer version. And this will ask us which version do we wanna update to. We're gonna choose 2.2.8. This is the client version that we are on right now. And this will go ahead and go through the process of updating all the packages and all the internal files to match the new server version. 2.2.8 and in a few minutes after the upgrade process has been completed our virtual machine will restart again and now we are into GNS3 version 2.2.8 we can verify the version here on the top so now we should have everything is ready now we can go ahead and launch our GNS3 one more time and if we try to add any project to start with we can go ahead and check our menu now and we are running version 2.2.8. Now let's try to grab any of our old devices to make sure they are still working. And we can see here the 40 gate was able to load normally and our KVM and other images are still working as before. That's how you upgrade your GNS3 to a newer version. Thank you for watching.